everybody, welcome to Tokyo Creative Play. I'm your host Emma and today I'm here with Yuko-san. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Yuko is from Oita and I've been to Oita a couple of times before. It's a very beautiful place. It's in uh, Kyushu and they have a lot of really amazing food there. I've got the chance to try like dangojiru and I've done some homestays there and done some like farm work and stuff. It's been so much fun. So today we've come to Tiger Studios in Tokyo and we're going to be doing some oita cooking. I've never made oita cooking at home so I'm very excited. So that's why Yuko is here to teach me how to cook because I got no idea. <laughs> also today we're going to be trying a bunch of foods that are pre-packaged that uh, you can actually order online. It's all oita cuisine and you can get it from Onsen Ken Oita online shop. If you want to check it out there's a link in the description down below if you want to try uh, oita cooking for yourself. So the first thing we're going to be starting with is uh, maze gohan which means like mixed, yes, mixed, mixed rice. rice. Mixed Usually rice. we eat tachikomi gohan mm. seasoned with gobo and uh, chicken. Okay, Gold Boy's yeah, yeah. burdock root. So we're just gonna get started by uh, preparing the rice because it's gonna take a while to cook. Actually, we did do a video previously in the same studio. If you guys wanna check it out, we did like a cooking event. So uh, check it out here. But while we were there, I learned how to prepare rice very nicely and I've been uh, practicing. So yeah. I'm gonna do my best <laughs> at preparing rice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so rice is good to go. So that means that that's the last step for mm -hmm. this yeah. and we'll we'll continue cooking that later. I okay. will cook it later. Okay, awesome. Yes. So the next thing we're going to be making is ryukyu, which I've never heard of before in my life. <laughs> what is yeah. ryukyu? Uh, we usually use the leftovers of sashimi, mm -hmm. but recently it's getting very popular okay. in Oita prefecture. So it's used the soy sauce and the sweet sake mm -hmm. and uh, some white sesame. Do you dip it or do you marinate it or leave it for a long time? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we have yeah. uh, tuna. And then uri, um, which is a kind of Japanese amberjack or a species of yellowtail. Yeah, so this sauce is actually a specific sauce for mm -hmm. yukyu. It's yeah. called yukyu tare. Ah, it smells smell? very sweet. Yeah, I think. <laughs> we need so much. Oh, yeah, because uh, do we need to cover it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, really? <laughs> Yeah, it smelled really good. Okay, so we're going to be adding some sesame seeds now. Yay. So I think we're just going to leave that for a while. Wrap it up. Let's put it to the side and move on to the next thing. Next thing we're making is tori ten, which is tori is like bird or chicken, and ten is tempura no ten. So it's like tempura chicken. Yeah. Usually in other places in Japan, you wouldn't really find this. It's usually uh, like karage or something, which is a different kind of fried outside, but this has got a different kind of batter. So mm -hmm. super excited. We've got to marinate the chicken first. We've cut it up into small pieces, so little mm -hmm. bite sized pieces, and then we're going to use this marinade. Special sauce. Special sauce. But usually I, I cut and the uh, and the green, mm. suriorosu, garlic, and garlic. ginger, mm. and everything. So it's easier, right? Yeah, to easier. have it pre made. Yeah. We're gonna do it the easy way, just use two spoonfuls mm. of the special sauce. Yeah. Let me smell the bottle. Oh, it's so garlicky. Mm, yeah. Wow. So now we're just gonna leave it yes. to soak for a bit before we fry it up. Okay, we're gonna make dango jiru. I have really good memories of dango jiru. Uh, in Oita, I got to go stay with the family and do a nohaku farm stay experience, and we got to make dango jiru by hand. Mm -hmm. And it was a little complicated, but you can just buy the noodles that are already pre made. And they come with all the flavorings, the miso and the dessert flavorings as well. So, yeah, they're just super easy to make. So, we're gonna make them now. So, inside the uh, dango jiru, we're gonna be doing uh, a bunch of different vegetables. We cook the vegetables separately. Oh, no? This pot for the cooking vegetables. Mm. And this pot is for the noodles. noodles. Mm. So we're going to be using a bowl of noodles. This is 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 a bowl of noodles. Noodle like this? Yeah. It's so much easier this way. Mm. We're gonna cook them for 10 minutes. But um, with the Dangojiru noodles, they actually, in this pack, they include a dessert version. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so you can have it with kinako, okay. like a soybean flour, mm. and uh, black syrup. Young people mm. in Oita maybe almost don't like Dangojiru. Gradually. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they love it, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
This is this is the coming of age test. When you're finally an adult, you will appreciate that good. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most convenient way to do it. She ate a carrot? She ate a carrot? That's very... Wow. It's very hot, isn't it? I said very hot. What sound do horses make in Japan? Oh, that's very hot. How do they write that? Hee So to make this a dessert version, we just put soybean, kinako, and uh, kuromitsu, so like black, black sugar syrup on top, and it's done. It's like, to me, it feels like if you got like noodles, like ramen noodles, and then put sugar and stuff on top, it feels a bit like, huh? Okay, this is our dessert, uh, but we got to put it down for now because we're going to start making some soup. All right, we're going to make some mushroom soup. Some shiitake mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. Shiitake mushroom soup shiitake is hard mushroom. to say fast. But uh, this was like a thousand yen, right? Yeah, we're just famous for it. We got some really fancy ones. Yeah. And we're gonna yeah. store them in these cute little taiga soup containers. Today we will use uh, this one, very easy one. Mm. Yeah, powder type. Oh yeah, this one you can just yeah. throw it in. So you have to soak it in the yeah. water yes. and to get the flavor in the dashi from mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. it. Uh, Let's keep it easy. <laughs> <laughs> so you recently discovered the easiest way to do yes. it. Yes. 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 <laughs> Better late than never. Uh, so yeah. what, what's the way? Just put the zaiyo mm. in this cup and pour the hot water. That's Just, it? Yes. <laughs> Totemo kantan. Awesome. <laughs> easy. Dried shiitake Super stock is good for vegan and the vegetarian mm. people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you might add something that has like fish. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you just use the mushrooms, it's a good mm. base for if you're vegetarian or vegan because yeah. Yeah, it's just mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got a good strong flavor. It mm. Smells so good. Ginger. Yeah. We got some fresh ginger as well. I should just make soup like this. For some reason, I feel like I have to make a big old thing and then I keep it in the fridge. And... <laughs> Add a little bit of soy sauce. Soy sauce. And a little bit of yeah, sesame oil. Okay, so we're just gonna leave them as they are, and then when we eat them, we're gonna give them a bit of a stir, and they're good to go. That was really easy and quick. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Toriten. 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 So we're starting the tempura batter. Mm -hmm. um, I think this flour contains the egg. The difference from karaage and the toriten is. Karaage doesn't contain egg. Right, it's yeah, just yeah. dipped in flour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We use this flour as a description of the bottle. So when you make a tempura, a oh, cold water? water is better. Yes. yes. We're going to wait for the oil to get to 180, 180 degrees. Yeah. About. While we wait for the oil to heat up, we're gonna choose uh, what prepackaged meals we want to have from Oita because we have a bunch of different ones. Mm. Okay, the prawn bisque. I don't know what is bisque, but so these soups are made with special things from Oita. So they have like Oita, like chicken in the torijiru. Mm. Um, even though it's borshichi, bor borscht, uh, <laughs> they have like uh, Oita beef. So I'm gonna go for uh, borshichi. Borshichi, okay, Oita beef. Okay, so we're gonna heat those up. And while they heat up, we're gonna cook the tori ten. Before we do the tori ten, we just gotta uh, 
get the uh, new queue. I almost forgot the word. All the people enjoying new queue don. Oh, since it's 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 new queue don. Oh, I really want to eat it. We still got to do the tori ten. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Do you make tori ten at home? Mm. Yes, yes. Ah, but like tori ten is more colorful. Yeah, a little bit more gold. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Maybe this color. Yeah. It's good because it's what? Because you arrange the temperature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
Mmm, it's wonderful. It's very sweet and chewy, but there's a little bit more firmness than what you would expect from like normal, like a mochi. I love it. Mochi. Oui, comme un jus de All right, so we're gonna finish up with eating some uh, fried chicken skin, which is really popular in Oita. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we're done. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning how to cook any of the Oita cuisine, want any of the ingredients, or you don't really want to cook and you want to get some amazing pre-made stuff, then uh, just go to the website down below. There's some awesome opportunities there. And if you don't want to do any of that, but you still want to try the food, go to Oita. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. So much to do, so much to see, and so much to oh, eat. Thank you. Oh, mm. I need beer. No, 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 this is a beer snack. We need some beer. Thank you so much for teaching me how to cook all these oh, amazing things. Thank you so much. It was a very good experience for me. It's been a great experience for me. I get to eat all this and hang out. It's been <laughs> awesome. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, out of all these dishes, which one do you want to eat the most? But yeah, let us know in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh, ma Seriously, this stuff is so good. Okay. Usually wow. the pre-made things are not good, but this mm. is so good. So, so, so. There's a big bit of beef if anybody wants it. So, Me? Yeah. Wow, it's so good. Did you eat this? That's why I ate all my selfish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Wow. 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 It's easy to cook. Yeah, you mm. just put it in yeah. the boil. And check out the tiger sauce. Fancy. Rice cooker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the video we did. Mm -hmm. <laughs>